Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin from Know Your Music, and I've got an impromptu review slash thrift store finding for you. Uh, I just wanted to do this one real quick. Uh, the review I'm going to do on this one is just because it's not a real popular release, didn't sell a lot of copies, but I can use this for you as a suggestion to, you know, get something that you like that can actually be clean all the way through if you're into this kind of stuff, right? Okay, so we've got Big Dismal here. Uh, the album is called Believe. This came out in 2003. This was the uh, same record label, Wind Up Records, that uh, Creed and uh, Evanescence and Seether and bands like that were on uh, in there, you know, when they first started getting real big, basically. These were the, this was the first al uh, record label that each of those bands was signed to uh, when they got major label success. Big Dismal um, is akin to a Creed or Seether type music. Uh, the vocals are a little bit easier on the ears than Seether would be. Um, they do sound a lot like Creed. However, uh, the album all the way through, content lyrically is very clean. Um, there's absolutely nothing on here that uh, is questionable, suggestive. There's no innuendo. Um, there's no talk of sex. There's no talk of drinking or drugs or anything like that. Um, a very clean album all the way through. Uh, this is definitely something that... Um, you just throw in and listen to if you're a fan of that post-grunge type music, especially post-grunge in its heyday, uh, before it started to get too too much like uh, alt metal, um, where it was uh, a lot of hip hop influence and a lot of uh, uh, dirty vocals. Not dirty as in content, but dirty as in gravelly vocals and stuff like that. Big Dismal was a band uh, that really only had one album out, but this one is, uh, like I said, if you want to listen to that stuff, that kind of music. Uh, definitely check this one out, okay? I'll give this one my seal of approval. And uh, again, um, Big Dismal. These guys, uh, I found this CD um, at the thrift store for a dollar, and you just can't beat that. I've actually been looking for it for a while now. Uh, I haven't seen it pop up anywhere, and today, just magically, there it was. So, um, yeah, check that one out, guys. If This is really, you know... You like Creed, you like, you know, I can't compare them to Evanescence. There's not the female vocal presence. However, Amy Lee does do vocals on one of the tracks on here, the lead singer from Evanescence. So there's that. And um, what else? I, you know, I'd like to, musically, like I said, like Seether, um, even an early Alter Bridge, uh, as you know, they were, or probably don't know. That was what Creed turned into once the guys got back together, hired a new lead vocalist. Their first album was on Wind Up Records as well. And the um, other bands I'm trying to think of, I don't know if you'd know any of them, like an Edgewater or a Strata, uh, bands like that, Seven Wiser, Stereo Fuse, that kind of thing. If you, if you knew Creed way back in the day and you were impressed with them when they first came out, these were the kind of bands that you would have been able to find had you looked up where Creed came from, what record label they were signed to, and uh, really who was influenced by them at that point in time. So there you go. Big Dismal, you know, top-notch CD all the way through. Like I said, clean. The production is really tight on there. The musicians are really good at what they do. And... Boy, what playlist am I going to put this uh, this video in now? It's a vlog. It's a thrift store vlog. It's a review, sort of. I mean, I'm not going over it track by track because really there's not a need to. The sound is there. It's typical, everyday, post-grunge, hard rock for the you know early 2000s and uh, late 90s and that sort of stuff. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, more reviews are coming and all that stuff. Uh, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. It's uh, Just search Know Your Music. The logo will pop up there. It really, there's nothing wrong with my eye. Okay, The sun is coming in through this window over here, and my eye just wants to do this. I mean, you can see it on my face right here, but it's not a nervous twitch or anything like that. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Facebook. Um, get on to, uh, or email me at knowyourmusicnow at yahoo.com. You can put your requests on there or anything you want to tell me, say to me, whatever. Just drop me a line, say hi, that kind of thing. 
Uh, oh, Finger Eleven. That's another band I was trying to find. If, if you were into Finger Eleven in their early days before they got really poppy, this is what this sounds like, okay? Um, I'm, I'm just kind of looking through what I have in the car here to see if anything just reminds me. If you ever heard of Breaking Point? Yeah, Breaking Point. They sound like that, too. But they definitely don't sound like a copycat either. They've got their own sound, obviously. But anyway, there we go for this one, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.